Hi, my name's Craig, and welcome to my Sony Vegas tutorial for beginners. The first part of this tutorial is aimed at people who have never used a video editing software package before and who want to get started working with some clips and just making a simple video. Vegas is an awesome program. It's easy, it's intuitive, and it's, it, the learning curve is not very steep at all. Um, and you can do just about anything with it. There are other video editing programs out there, uh, Adobe Premiere, uh, Pinnacle Studios, and even Windows Movie Maker if you choose to use that. Um, I find Vegas to be as good as, if not better, than any of those. And just because the workflow makes a lot of sense, it's very logical. And once you know a few simple things about Vegas, it becomes very powerful and you can do a lot of things. The first thing I'm going to do is just familiarize you and just take you on a little tour of the main features of Vegas and the things that you're going to be needing to work with all the time. Now my screen might look a little different than yours. The layout of my controls and my screens and timeline uh, might be different than yours, but that's just because I've made them that way. If you're using Sony Vegas 8, you'll be able to do this too. Earlier versions, you can do this, but it's a little more difficult. The first thing uh, that we're going to look at here is this thing. This bottom section here is called the timeline. This is where you're going to put your video clips and work with them. It's kind of like an editor's block. Uh, picture yourself having pieces of film all over the place, little clips that you took with, uh, with a movie camera, and you want to assemble those pieces of film together to make an entire movie. And you're going to cut some footage out, and you're going to join some clips together to make a film. This is where you do that. Okay, so you would assemble your clips on here, trim them, edit them, and put them together into a complete movie. All right. This here is your video preview window. This is where you can see the video that you're working on. All right. You can actually take this and move it too. Yeah, you can make it bigger and move it around. And if you have two monitors, you can even put it on the other monitor. Give yourself a little more room. This is important. This thing over here is a volume control that controls the level of the audio in your project. And some people don't even have this on their screen, and you should. You should be paying attention to this, especially near the end of your project when you're ready to, to save it and to complete it. If you've got the volume set too low, then your levels are going to be too low, and you're going to have to turn your television or your computer up when you're going to watch your video. If they're too high, you're going to have distortion. They're going to peek into the red and you're going to have a problem. It's too loud. So you need to keep an eye on your levels, especially near the end of your project when you've got everything all set up. Uh, just take a, watch, uh, take a watch, just watch through it, and just watch your levels and make sure they don't get up too high or they're not too low. Finally, this, this section over here is a lot of things, actually. Um, you've got tabs along the, along the bottom here to choose... Uh, which thing you're going to use. Now there's a couple, there's one in here in particular you're not going to use, it's the Mediant Manager. Um, you only need that if you've got thousands of clips and you need to organize them somehow, you know. Um, other than that, you're going you're gonna to use all these. You've got your Explorer. This is where you're going to dig through your hard drives and find the video files that you want to work with. Um, transitions. These are the, the fades between clips, you know. you got clock wipes. you got, you know, little, little wipes here. Some of them are kind of 3D. Okay, or you can just go with a straight, uh, you know, a straight fade or crossfade as they call it. Okay, so you're going to have a lot of fun with those. You've got media generators. These are titles, credit rolls, test patterns, backgrounds, textures, things that you you can use uh, either behind your video, or in the case of titles, in front of it. Video effects. This is where it really gets fun your color, your black and white, your, your, your hue, your brightness, your contrast, your, your sharpness, your blurriness, your uh, all kinds of stuff is in here. You can, this, this, this is the Photoshop of Vegas. Uh, this is where you can really do some neat stuff with your, with your video and you'll have to play with these. And the project media, any media that you bring into your project will show up in here. So this is this is a, a very handy thing to have on your screen and to have access to. Okay. Um, the timeline has a, a little ruler along the top. Okay. And that's good for seeing where you are in the uh, 
in the movie, you know how far in you are. Of course, you've got your time index here. You've got your buttons down at the bottom here for play, stop, rewind, uh, fast forward, pause, and record if you want to do some narration. You have a little uh, slider here that allows you to go backwards and forwards in your video so you can find the right spot. I'll show you that in a minute. And you've got some buttons along the top here. Quite a few of them, actually. Don't let these scare you. Uh, you're not going to use these all the time. You're only going to use three or four of them uh, a good deal of the time. The rest of them aren't even... I've, some, some of them I don't think I've ever even used. Okay. Your preview monitor, you've got some stuff up here, too. Again, don't worry about this stuff right now. I'll uh, cover it later. Now, what I'm going to do is just to get you started, I'm going to take a video clip, and I've dig, dug down through my hard drives where I know where I've got my my video clips uh, downloaded or uploaded to the hard drive from the camera. Um, I'm going to presume at this point that you've already put the clips on your computer and if you haven't don't worry we'll cover that in an, on another video. So I've chosen this clip here um, and I'm going to click it and I'm going to drag it down to the timeline. And I'm going to let go. So basically I click the mouse, dragged it down, and then let go of the mouse. Okay, so if I play this clip, I press the play button. And it's just uh, a little bit of camping stuff. Now there's some stuff, there's some parts of this clip that I don't want. And I'm going to show you how to get rid of those. And just to show you this little scrubber here, you can go back, forwards, Let's get a part with sound here, if we can. See, you scrub back and forth till you find the exact spot you want. It's handy. I don't use it all the time, but it's there. Okay, and of course you can see your levels. I'll put the cursor at the spot where I see that there's a little bit of sound here. And you can see over here your meters. Telling you how much sound you've got and what your level is. Okay. And so I can drag other clips down here. I can take this clip, the next clip, and I can put it right beside that clip. All right, now when I play from here, you'll see that it will, when it goes from one clip to the next, it's just going to be a straight cut, which is, which is fine. If I did want to have a crossfade, quite simply all I would do is take the second clip and overlap it over the first a little bit. Now when I play the clips back from here, You'll see I got a that it's a nice little crossfade from one to the other. So that kind of gets you started. Um, you know, and you can do this, and you can make quite an interesting little video just, just by doing this. Uh, there's not a lot to it. So that's very basic Sony Vegas. Um, this will get you started, putting a couple of clips on the timeline, making a little transition here. And if you click here and move your mouse wheel you notice that you can actually zoom in on the clip wherever on your timeline you put your cursor you can zoom in on that part so that you can do a little more intricate editing you can have a little closer look at what you're doing and that's a very very handy thing to know you're going to be using that all the time okay so that's a great thing you're going to see me do that a lot i just wanted to tell you that right up front Okay, so that's the end of this part of the tutorial. Please look for part two and all the other parts. And we're going to have some fun here. We're going to learn. And um, hopefully this will get you on, well on your way to doing some really cool editing with, with Sony Vegas. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. And we'll see you in the next parts. Take care.